everyone welcome back to the next permade installment hopefully by now um, you have reached row 31 and your work is looking like this so you've changed color and I showed you how to change color in the very last video so hopefully we are all at exactly the same stage now for rows 32 33 and 34 they are just going to be rows of one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. Now there's 36 stitches per round. So you go ahead and crochet three rounds of 36 stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same and I will meet you back here in just a moment to begin the short row shaping. Okay, by the end of row 34, you should have something that looks a lot like this. So we've got the flat section of the permaid's back so she can lie and you've got this curved tummy. Now I'm going to show you how to do the short row shaping, which is the bit that befuddles most of you. <laughs> now this isn't really a common technique. Um, I sort of fudged it together from watching how socks were made and um, various heels of socks and things like that. So it's understandable that it trips quite a lot of people up because it's quite difficult to get your head around, um, particularly when just reading. So I am going to do my best to show you how you do the short row shaping rows. So if you want to have a stitch marker handy, that's, that's probably quite a good idea. So the short row shaping is basically working back and forth in rows. Now the chain one does not count as a stitch. And for each row, you're going to be adding two more stitches. So you work one way, turn, and then you're anchoring to the row below each time. So you're growing in like an arc shape. So row 35 and the beginning of the short row shaping. Put a single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Feel free to mark your first stitch. Chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And turn your work. Now keep an eye, this here is your single crochet. So you've got a single crochet, single crochet. This is your chain one, which does not count. So row 36, you're going to put your first single crochet in this stitch here. So if you're unsure, pull it slightly and you can see here, this is the stitch that you just worked into. This one here is the free one. So you can see there's nothing, that's your single crochet. This is the next available stitch. So you're sort of working backwards and you're gonna put your hook into that stitch behind you and put a single crochet. So this here is the single crochet. Now that's a bit tricky to work into later, but you'll get there. So that is your first single crochet. Then you've sort of covered up your chain one already. So by marking this stitch here, this stitch here, your chain one is now hidden within this stitch. So you're going to put a single crochet in the next two single crochets. One, two, I'm just gonna take out my stitch marker. And then you're also gonna put a single crochet into this next stitch. 
Now, whilst your work is still facing you, you can clearly see your four single crochets. One, two, three, four. If you want to mark this one here so you don't lose it, that's not a bad idea, but you don't have to. It'll be up to you. You'll start to see your stitches. But if I mark this one, it might be easier for you guys to see when I return. So that is the end of row 36. Chain one, turn your work. Now we're going to begin row 37. Now again, you're going to be working back into this stitch down here. So you can see what you're attached to, you're going into the next free stitch. So put the hook into that stitch there, put a single crochet, So that's one and then put a single crochet in the four single crochets you did on the row below so here 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 and that marked one I'm just going to take my stitch marker out of that marked one now this one is a bit tricky to get under bit tight and then we put a single crochet in the next free single crochet here so you can see these have worked into this is the next free one put a single crochet in here so you now have six single crochets one two, three, four, five, six. This sixth one is hiding down here. Chain one, turn, row 38, same again, working into this stitch here, single crochet, single crochet in the next six stitches sixth one is always Bit of a nightmare to get into. And then end your row with a single crochet into the next free single crochet, which is here. So you will have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one. Turn. And now we're going to do row 39. So just as before, single crochet into this free one here, single crochet into the next eight that you've done, remembering that that last one is always quite hard to see, it's over here. And then you end with a single crochet in the next free one of the row that you're attaching to. So by the end of this row, you will have 10 stitches single crochet into this one here it's one Don't forget this one here. This is the one that people often miss because it is the tightest to get into. Mm. And then end in the next free stitch, which is here. 
So you can see you're getting this sort of arc, almost like a heel turning on a sock. Chain one, turn, row 40, just like before, single crochet to this free one here, into the, all these stitches, the next 10 that you've created down here, and then end with a single crochet into the next free stitch here. So at the end of this row, you will have 12 stitches. Chain one, turn, then row 41, just like before, single crochet into this free row down here, single crochet in the next 12 stitches, single crochet into the next free one over here. So at the end of row 41, you will have 14 stitches. Chain one, turn, row 42, just like before, single crochet into this stitch here by my thumb, single crochet into all 14 stitches across, and then single crochet into the next free single crochet over here, and you will have a total of 16 stitches. Chain one, turn, row 43, just like before, single crochet into this free one here, single crochet into all the stitches that you have just done, and single crochet into this free stitch over here. I don't know why it's not focusing. Here. And by the end of row 43, you will have 18 stitches.
chain one, turn. So your work is now starting to look like this and from the side like this. Row 44, just as you've been doing, single crochet in this stitch here, single crochet in all the stitches across and end with a single crochet. It's becoming more clear now. This is my pink one here into this orange one here. And by the end of this row, you will have 20 stitches. Chain one, turn, row 45, just like before, single crochet to this orange stitch here, single crochet into all the stitches of the curve, ending with a single crochet in the next free stitch. And at the end of this row, you will have 22 stitches. Oh, this one is always such a nightmare to try and get into. There we go. Chain one. Turn. Now row 46. Just like before, single crochet into this free stitch single crochet in the next 22 single crochets and then single crochet into this free stitch here which will give you 24 stitches but then we're going to end with a slip stitch into the next stitch so i'll do it with you
There's this pesky last little stitch. Hopefully the camera is focusing on it. So I'm putting my 24th stitch into this single crochet here. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next. So slip stitch is literally just yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Now you are going to turn your work. Just straight turn your work. So for row 47, you're going to skip this slip stitch you just did. So ignore this stitch here and you're going to work immediately into this stitch next to it. So pop a single crochet into that next stitch and then mark it with your stitch marker. Then you're going to single crochet into every stitch around. So all the stitches you have done for your short row shaping, including this little one here, don't forget that one. And then you're going to work immediately into this next free stitch all the way around. Keep crocheting. And then you're going to end with your last stitch in the same stitch as your slip stitch here and you'll have 36 stitches. I'll do it with you. So I have one, So that's my 35th, 35th stitch. And your final stitch, stitch 36, goes into the same stitch that you slip stitched in. So that is stitch number 36. So I've marked the very first stitch of this round. It's quite tricky to see, it's kind of hidden in there, which is why these stitch markers are so handy. So it's this little stitch here. And that is the end of the short row shaping and the bit that befuddles quite a lot of you. So I'm going to leave this video because it is getting quite long, but I want to be able to show you as you crochet around together. I'm going to leave this as a standalone video and then for row 48 onwards, that will be in my next video. So I hope this has cleared up the short row shaping and your permaid should have a big old booty that looks like this. So I will see you in my next video for row 48 and onwards.